Hello and welcome to your reading, Taurus. This is for all Taurus placements. Taurus, we're taking a look at your month of March 2023. I recommend watching for your sun, moon, rising, as well as the March pick a card, which I'll link down below, so you can get a holistic view of your month ahead. Uh, but let's get started. Let's take a moment to call in your guides, to call in my guides, angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest vibrational frequency, Please be with us today to provide the most accurate, meaningful messages for Taurus for more March 2023. Thank you for your clear and accurate messages, and thank you, Taurus, for being here. So we're using the Herb Crafters Tarot today. I think this is the first time it's been on the channel. So I feel I felt really drawn to it, and I feel like for a lot of Tauruses this month, you might be focused more on nutrition, on health in general. Some might even be getting into some herbs, but I feel like healthy vibes for my Taurus friends. But let's get started and get more information. Spirit, what is main message you have for Taurus for March 2023? What is the main message you have for Taurus? March 2023. Thank you. What is the main message for Taurus? And what is relevant past the situation for Taurus? What is relevant past that has to do with this? And what is possible future in regards to this situation? What is more information for Taurus? And what is an opportunity coming for Taurus this month? Bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Water or the Ten of Cups. Interesting, Red Clover. I think I bought Red Clover tea because of this deck. Um, but this is like emotional fulfillment. The, see the rainbow there that will maybe remind you of the traditional deck. So the Ten of Cups is like happily ever after. I feel like you're, you're like going after that. Like what makes you feel emotionally satisfied? What makes you feel happy? Now I feel called all of the cards came out in reverse. So when this happens, sometimes I just feel called to turn them all around. And I'm going to do that. We're going to take into account all both meanings, of course. But interesting. I feel like you're finding balance this month. Something's been imbalanced in your life. Maybe it has been health or something like just emotional imbalance. And this month, you're really working on finding emotional wellness, over like well-being overall. And yeah, really figuring out what makes you happy, what makes you feel healthy, what makes you feel good. So there are herbs listed on all of these cards. We're not going to get too into them, but maybe for some of you, you guys can read that and it will um, really, you know, hit home and like be something you want to investigate further. But for the center of the reading, we have the Madre of Fire time and this is the Queen of Wands. This is such a confident energy. She is, feels good in her skin she feels happy. She's very helpful and there for other people, charismatic. I feel like you're really feeling good this month. Whatever you're like working on yourself and you're just feeling more confident, healthier life. Like something's given you some more passion. Um, you just, there's something really making you feel good. Like we have potions and brews here. I really do feel like you're, there's a more attention on what you're consuming um, mostly internally, but maybe also with your environment, you might be just really paying attention to your body this month, really like the sensations of it, like really realizing that the food you put into your body is fuel, you know, and it's like changing everything for you. You're like eating more greens. You're just feeling that you're like realizing how much it's making you feel good. And with like outside influences, I feel like if you've been like, you know, maybe you used to watch a bunch of true crime or something like that, the news, and it just made you feel bad. And you're realizing that that doesn't make you feel good. So you're watching things that make you do it. So you're just very in tuned with your body's response to things this month. And that's a wonderful thing. For relevant past, we have the King of Wands, and this is Damiana, and oh, I love that. Look at this little like, triangle there. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, there's this is another fire card here. 
I feel like you've really found something you're interested in that brings you passion and you're like going with it. You're like expanding it and growing it and learning more about it this month. I feel like you're feeling more energy. And it's interesting when you go back, like this is the card right after it, but we have it in the recent past. And I feel like this is like more elderly hands here, which is amazing, like wise and stuff like that. And then more youthful. I feel like you've, you're have you getting more energy this month and feeling younger and healthier in your body, no matter what your age is, which is, is great. You're like really found what works. And this triangle here, I love that. I feel like there's definitely a balance. Like you're feeling more balanced, like mentally, like emotionally, spiritually right now. Like and I didn't leave out physically, mentally, spiritually, physically <laughs> right now that you're finding more of a balance with that. You're finding what makes you feel good. And I love that for you. <laughs> I love this energy. You're like, what lights you up? Um, that's wonderful. And for the, um, for the possible future with this, we have the two of air, which is like the two of swords. And, oh, and for more information, too, before we get to the future and opportunities, um, we have the Ace of Pentacles here, Nettle. I feel like there is some new opportunity this month to make some more money, to maybe start some side hustle, to bring, maybe there's just, oh, look at this little butterfly there. I feel like you're transforming something in your life and making it more profitable in some way. There could be some new beginning, like maybe you're starting to learn about something new and you're like starting to take a course or something like that. Um, you could be getting unexpected money for some people, making more money, doing what you love. Perhaps for some of you guys, since you're like making healthier choices overall in life too. I mean, we definitely have an emphasis on like food and stuff like that, but overall I can see, and that's like helping you save money. You're like, you're not like, splurging on things maybe there was an imbalance before with like spending habits eating habits and stuff like that and it's coming more into balance and you could be like saving some money in that way maybe able to invest in something that's more for your well-being and your health but i feel like finances are definitely going to be good um it's not like a windfall i mean maybe for some but I'm, with the ace it's like you're, there's definitely some money coming in um and that's going to be helpful. I don't think that's going to be a major worry or concern for you in the month of March. Wow, for opportunities though, I didn't even see this at first. We have the 10 of pentacles here. <gasps> okay, um, so there's an opportunity to make a lot of money though. I feel like you have some, there might be like a new idea you're getting to do, make money. Um, maybe you're feeling more inspired with your work with like a side business, but there's an opportunity to make a lot of money. The 10 of, or like in like start something long-term, like there's an, an idea that's coming around this month potentially or a focus of yours that is bringing forth more money, or maybe you're getting a little bit of money that you can invest in something that will bring forth more abundance in the future. Like this is like long-term money, like a legacy. Like you could be starting some little business or something, something that you enjoy, you're passionate about, and also will bring forth some sort of abundance. Interesting. In potential future, we have the two of air, the two of swords. I feel like there might be two choices for you, like more opportunities. I feel like there's something you're deciding on this month that's going to lead to multiple opportunities, like multiple pathways, but you need to like be open to receiving. Sometimes a two of swords can be like a, a blockage, like a standstill. And I feel like there's a lot of positive changes coming to you and it might be like unexpected and throw you off a little bit. <laughs> and spirit wants you to be open to it. Like I'm noticing all these little butterflies in this one too. There's major transformation on the horizon for you in the future. And like, I feel like it's starting this month, but like it's going to lead to new opportunities so spirit wants you to be open to it and not closed off because there might be opportunities you've not you've never really done before, but they're going to lead to some really nice emotional satisfaction. Like I just we have an ace, we have two tens, we have some court cards here and the two. There's definitely like endings and new beginnings here. There's like something that's leading like long-term new beginning, it seems like. And look, I just realized that we have um like a, they call it like the divine counterparts. We have the king and queen of wands. So perhaps um, you found a partnership that's going to help 
lead you on in love with a two. It's like two people. So your partner, if you're in a romantic partnership, you two can be really aligned and you can be starting something together. You could be starting maybe coming together with your family and starting to think of investments long term. Like you're thinking about your future together and you're starting to put forth more money, more energy into the future, you know, of yourself. So you guys could be meeting someone new that could be a romantic partner or like a business partner or a friendship. That's just like really strong connection, like soul family type connection that you guys like do something together in the future that really, you know, it's like you bringing some, it's bringing abundance into your life and happiness as well. Number two is, yeah, there's some partnership that is moving forward and it's like up to you if, you know, you might come to so, like, it might be a little scary or something, you know, thinking about the future and planning ahead like that and like what's to come and you might be a little blocked off from it. But spirit's like, no, this is a really great beginning or continue, you know, a new phase, a new chapter for you and your counterpart. Um, and it's about to really transition and it might be scary to make these investments with another person. Like maybe you're just investing in a relationship or something, but there's a real potential for happy, happily ever after with this person, with the situation, this business. I feel like I know I'm, this is a general reading. So I'm seeing all that I say, but there's, there's definitely someone important in your life. This could be a fire sign. doesn't have to be. The fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this can also just be the energy of this person and you or the energy when you're together, really passionate, fiery, energized. This person brings energy into your life. You feel really good. You feel complementary together. It's like we have the divine masculine and feminine here, but you can be any gender. Um, but coming together, you're able to create something really good something new, something good that can be long lasting together. And again, I'm seeing this could be both a long lasting relationship together or a business, maybe both. Some of you guys might start a family business together, but I feel like you, you and your counterpart this month are either meeting or deepening your connection and planning the future together. Ace to the 10. That's like, you know, the full thing here, you're, you're just starting, you know, you're like planting the seeds for a really abundant future. This is the this is the opportunity, which is the Ten of, of Pentacles, and we have the, the Ace here of, like, what's going on currently. So there's there's something really strong here between you guys that can grow into something long-lasting and abundant in all ways. And I love that for you. <laughs> so we have here Swords, Wands, and Earths, and we do have, okay, yeah, there's a lot of balance. You know how I was saying things seem to be in balance when I turned everything around? We have a balance of cards here. We have all of the elements so I feel like things are really coming into balance for you this month. And also, like, you know, we have the elemental balance. And right here I'm seeing, you know, the the physical, mental, spiritual plane. There's just a balance overall. Things are coming into alignment this month, and it's beautiful. Now let's get some more cards for Taurus, please. Unsuccessful plans not. I feel like this might have to do with this two of swords being open to things. And if this is a beginning of something new, you know, or deepening of something, you know, like there's, when you first start something, there's ups and downs and spirit doesn't want you to get discouraged or blocked when something happens, like, and be open to new opportunities. Like you're the, how you expect things to be likely won't be how they turn out, but that doesn't mean it's bad. So be open to new ideas. Be open to things being different than you want. You might like to control things. You might not like change. You are, of course, a fixed sign. Fixed signs don't really like change too much. And spirit wants you to be open to change. And because there's something really abundant and new starting here for you. And it, it just, I don't think it's exactly what you planned. You might have had this like life plan or whatever. And it's not exactly turning out the way you want it. But it's going to be even better. You know, so be open to it. Don't be locked from changes coming in. And if something doesn't work out, re re rejection is divine redirection. Like looking back in my life, there's things I thought were so terrible and didn't work out. But you know what? I realize now it was a blessing. Oh, my gosh. Crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. Wow, maybe you and your partner are considering starting a family together or a business together, which totally makes sense with what we were talking about. There's some new idea with this ace here. Oh, and it's something long lasting with abundance. This really could be a new business, a new, or like, or you're really planning for the future with this person. 
And again, this could just be you embodying this energy and you're starting a business with yourself. You know, you have this idea, but I feel like you're going to draw in some counterpart like in this process. Oh my gosh. And then pin new job career. Yes. This ace of earth. There's something new here for sure. New job career with the ace of earth. This totally is confirmation of that. And also with the birth of a new enterprise, you're having like, don't be like worry about some career that maybe didn't work out with you. Some job you're coming up with an idea this month, something like, even if it's just a side business or like, you know, a hobby turned side business, you might even not realize it's a side business. <laughs> yeah. But like something new you're starting is really going to be profitable. There's some new passion, some, some new job, new enterprise starting that can lead to a very abundant future. Wow. Spirit, what else for Taurus? Moon in Virgo order. Look at all those plants too. Yeah, I feel like you're getting organized in life. You're getting things in order. Like with this issue, you might be planning the future, you know, like getting all your plans set, getting things in motion for this new job, this new beginning. This is the month to get organized. Organized. And also with the moon, this is like with your emotions. Like we have three rows here. Again, I feel like getting organized with your thoughts, emotions, you know, uh, with your finances, with your physical well-being. You're just really getting things balanced and in order this month. And the sixth house can have to do with work, too. We have another confirmation with that. Yeah, this is a month of planning, getting things going for this something new. What else, Spirit, for Taurus? And then we have Mars and Aries, impulsiveness. Yeah, you might be feeling like, oh, God, this is moving too fast, you know, <laughs> and that might be what's causing you to kind of like be like hesitate or something like that. But if it feels right, it is right. I know like we were talking about maybe some changes, you know, might seem a little much for you, you know, a little rushed. So, I mean, use your discernment, feel like go with what feels right. But sometimes when things feel right, you just got to go for it. And if you need, um, if you're like, am I doing rushing things, you know, go, go to someone you trust, you know, like someone, a family member, a friend, your partner, and you can talk it out with them just to make sure, you know, if you need that. But I feel like really you're going to be fine. If you're feeling impulsive, get things in order, get organized, and that'll make you feel really a lot better about the situation. But yeah, I feel like it's a month of action for you. There's changes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have Saturn and um, Capricorn riches. You guys, there is some money coming in. The start of something abundant. Wow, really? Like this all over this reading. Look, can we just... <laughs> Okay, so if you didn't, under, like, we're going to go through, there's something you find passionate or personal, you know, there's something here. You start something new, some business idea, a new path that seems, because something else didn't work in the past, spirit doesn't want you to get hung up on that. Start something new, and it has the opportunity to bring so much money and riches. We have double, triple confirmation about money coming in. They're in the 10. This is like, we have the 10, you know, that's like an ending with a new beginning. 10, that's going to be lucrative and emotionally satisfying for you. This is awesome. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a Taurus son, so I'm like, hell yeah. <laughs> um, I take these readings to be for me too. <laughs> I usually like watch again later because some days I forget because I'm like in the, in the moment, in the groove, whatever. <laughs> okay, now I'm getting all weird. But yeah, this is awesome. So get organized. Go with your intuition, what you feel. Don't let little um, bumps in the road stop you from your dreams. Pick yourself up and try again, you know. All right, Spirit, can we get a final message for Taurus? We have, oh, another confirmation here. Taurus, ninth house, and Mercury. So, Taurus, this is confirmation this reunion is for you and with the ninth house this is like the bigger picture higher perspective higher learning remember we talked about you learning something this could have to do with something you've been studying or something you've been reading about something like you know it could have to do with your spirituality um your religion 
your belief system, it's going to be really in alignment with that. If it's not specifically about that, it's going to be alignment with your beliefs and your, you know, what you want in life. Your values are going to be aligned with what you're doing. It's going to be stable, long lasting, lucrative. And then we have Mercury. This could be something that you do in your community with your communication and creativity. But the air is in here too. You could be communicating, like your job could have something to do with creativity and communication. It could have to do with your neighborhood siblings, cousins, extended family. Really, I feel like communication is a big thing here. You're communicating your ideals or like what you're passionate about for your job. And also like if being sure to like communicate this with maybe your partner, like what your new ideas are, you know. But I feel like things are really coming into alignment, really coming into balance with you. You're feeling just more confident. The success rising of Virgo and Mercury rules Virgo too. Um, Anyway, Virgo. Um, but yeah, things are just really coming into alignment. Like what your emotional needs are, what your beliefs are, your passions. You're able to incorporate that in this new plan, this new idea. And because it's so in alignment with you, because it feels so right, it's because it is right for you. You know, you're following your passions is going to bring forth abundance. It's going to bring forth alignment. You're going to feel like everything is just in the flow state because it's what you're meant to do. It's what your dharma is. You're like figuring out your purpose and this is a beautiful thing wow major shifts for the better for you this month taurus this is a really nice energy to read for thank you very much um for allowing me to read for you i hope this reading was helpful i hope it resonated if it did please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already like this video leave a comment let me know like do you already have an idea do you know what this is about or like um are you excited about this i feel like there's a lot of good opportunity a lot of abundance coming your way taurus uh and like i suggested in the beginning feel free to watch your other signs if you maybe there's some gaps you want to fill in or just want more information on the month ahead i do offer private readings if you're interested my email's in the description but i'm really just so grateful you're here i hope you have an amazing day have a beautiful abundant month taurus i love you so much bye